Like, I can literally sit here and just stare at her all day. She's just so precious. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I just turned the air off because it was really loud. And I kind of regret that because I'm sweating and it's really hot. It's really hot. Okay, I'm just going to have to get through this fast. Hopefully because I talk too much. But um, if you guys are new here, my name is Daisy. This is Aubrey. And this is going to be her five month update. Yeah, she's five months old already. And it's, it's, I, I still kind of can't believe it. It's crazy. I make no sense. I'm sorry. If you guys are new here, I'm seriously like a mess 90% of the time. So if you're into that kind of stuff, subscribe. But <laughs> this video, I'm literally to like two, three minutes in and I'm already rambling. So let's get into the video. Okay. So first of all, I just want to start off by saying I hope that everyone is doing good and everyone is staying safe out there. Times are tough and it's getting kind of crazy out in the world right now with all the stuff going around. So I hope that you guys are all staying safe. Um, we've kind of, you know, just been here chilling. I actually put makeup on today for like the first time in months. And it took two hours because I would get like five minutes to myself and then I had to deal with one of the kids. So it was kind of a long process and I almost gave up halfway through but this is what you guys get my hair is still wet so this is the best we got miss aubrey i tried to fix her hair but she's still every time she moves it just moves with her but let me give you guys a little close up of her she's i say this in every video but she's getting so big it's gonna be to the point where like i literally can't carry her anymore because like just carrying her this high is so hard for me but here's a little close-up of her. Are you gonna look at the camera? Can you say hi? Can you say hi? No. She still has tons of hair. Um, I, s I don't know if it's just because it's falling out or if it's because she scratches her head. But sometimes, I don't know if you guys can see. <laughs> oh, girl, you're too heavy right here these little spots she has a little bit less hair and i know jaden his hair started falling out right there so i don't know if it's just happening to her too but she also has this bad habit of like grabbing her own hair and like scratching it sometimes she'll pull and it'll still be in her fingers so i hope she's not ripping it out but i i seriously that's the thing I've been struggling with is getting her not to do that because obviously who wants their baby to do that? So I just constantly have to be watching her and checking up on her that she's not doing that because we are officially done with the mittens. Um, I feel like she's pretty good about not like hurting herself other than sometimes pulling her hair. But she doesn't really scratch her face anymore. She scratches me all the time when I'm feeding her but... Other than that, I think she's good. She's pretty good with her hands. She grabs things and reaches for them all on her own. She she just likes to explore right now. <laughs> she's probably looking for Jaden. Honestly, Jaden's like her number one entertainment. Huh, sissy? I do not know her weight because we haven't been to the doctors since her four month checkup and she doesn't have another appointment until May for her six month checkup. So, I don't know exactly how much she weighs, but I'm definitely gonna say it's at least like probably 16 pounds or heavier than that. She barely fits in her nine month clothing. I can get away with putting it on her, but I don't know for how much longer. Like I feel like <laughs> in a week or two, it's gonna be too snug for her. So she is ready to start moving into 12 month clothing and it's kind of sad. I just ordered her a bunch of new sleepers because like this is, <laughs> it fits her perfectly, but like she doesn't have that much wiggle room. So yeah, she's gonna start wearing 12 month clothing um, for diapers. What about diapers? She's still in size three. I think she's gonna be in size three for a few months, honestly. Um, 
I also did switch her to Cloud Island diapers just in case anyone's interested in brands. Um, I have a vlog coming out. Oh, oh, oh. What's wrong? I have a vlog coming out um, like where I kind of give my first impression on the diapers and talk about how they wear on her and stuff. But to keep it short, I like them. So I switched Jaden over to those as well. Even though he's about to be out of diapers, but um, yeah, I like them, so I think I'm gonna keep using Cloud Island for now. I want to try their wipes, but obviously, <laughs> with the situation in the world, just like toilet paper, <laughs> wipes are like so hard to find. So it's fine. I have a few of the Up and Up brand, and then eventually, hoping to get my hands on the Cloud Island wipes, and then I'll let you guys know how her skin reacts to those and stuff because she has super sensitive skin. Um, but an update i guess on her skin her <laughs> i thought her eyes were closed because she always falls asleep sitting up i really can't tell if she's like about to fall asleep on me i think she is you tired yep i think she is you want to lay down She's the queen of falling asleep literally anywhere sitting down. Like, I'd say she, okay, I guess it, I'm everywhere. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I feel like I say that in every video, but I'm a mess. Ding! Um, we started giving her baby cereal. Um, it's the Earth's Best, I think. Multigrain baby oatmeal cereal it's like the longest name ever um but that's just what i like to use because i personal preference i don't really want to use gerber so that's just what i use but um yeah we started giving her that right like i think two three days after she turned officially five months old um because she was just giving us all the signs that she was ready to eat she can't sit up just yet but you can give your i'm not a doctor but from what I've heard and from what our doctor told us, you can give them baby cereal once they're considered supported sitters. And she definitely is a supported sitter. She's almost able to sit up on her own, but she's still kind of wobbly. She like tips over and stuff. So hopefully by next month or maybe when she's like seven months, she'll be able to sit up on her own. Um, yeah, guys, she's knocked out and she's supposed to take a bath after this, but it's okay. She likes it. I just make it with um, breast milk. A little bit of water if I need to. I don't have a huge milk stash. So when I have some pumped, I use that. But She seems to like it. Obviously, she's still new to it. I think it's only... I don't even think it's been a full week since she's been eating it. So she still is learning how to eat it. And um, she kind of spits it out. Most of it ends up on her bib. But it's fun. It's a new experience for her. But for now, we're just doing baby cereal and maybe in like a week or two, I will try veggies. But back to her skin because that's what I was talking about before I got off topic. Um, her skin is still kind of dry, but I haven't noticed like any super crazy dry spots like I did a few months ago. So that is good. I'm still using the baby eczema cream. What I have noticed the past month is right under her chin and her neck area it's been pretty like red kind of looks like a rash i don't know exactly what it is um i'm gonna try and show you guys right now because i'm looking at it it's just like red bumps sometimes it flares up and it looks really really red and sometimes like you can't even tell like it's there at all um i think it's just from like her drool and she's chubby so like it's kind of hard for that skin to get any air so I think that's just what's going on, just like a little rash, and I feel like eventually it will go away, but I don't know if you guys can see that. Of course my camera wants to go to focus. Do you guys see that? It looks pretty red on camera, I feel like. I feel like it will go away on its own eventually. It's nothing that I'm too concerned about. Obviously, like, if it was really red all the time and she was crying, like, it just looked irritated then yeah i would be more concerned but right now i'm not too worried i'm sure it will go away and if it does look like it's bugging her at all then i will call her pediatrician and figure it out but for now all i've been trying to do is keep it dry and 
moisturized she found her feet she is like starting to reach for them she hasn't tried putting them in her mouth yet Jaden used to do that all the time but she has found her feet and it's the cutest thing ever she'll like try and sit up and like reach for them try and grab her toes and it's so cute she's just honestly trying to grab anything and everything she just she found her hands I think like a month or two ago and now she knows how to use them grab whatever she wants whatever she can see she's gonna try and grab it also found her voice so she's always just like babbling or yelling and it's the cutest thing ever so eating i feel like nothing has really changed other than like she started the baby cereal once a day and she's eating the occasional cracker as a snack but like she's still exclusively breastfed i'm still you know breastfeeding her on demand kind of but it, it's about every two to four hours still it really hasn't changed too much i usually feed her, her baby cereal i'd say between like 11 and 12 and then i will give her her baby cereal and when she shows me that she is no longer interested i will wash everything up bring her to the room and nurse her till she's content and then she ends up taking a nap after that she loves baths like it's it's a totally different experience with her because Jaden hated bath time he still kind of isn't too fond of it and he's almost three but she loves it like since her very first bath she loves it she can lay in the water for probably as long as we'd let her honestly her sleeping schedule has me messed up a little i was just like freaking bragging about how she finally slept six hours through the night and even seven hours in her last update <laughs> yeah no not anymore it's, i don't know if she's going through like a five month sleep regression i don't know i don't really keep up with those apps that tell you like what's gonna happen next with your child at this age and this age because i know a lot of moms keep up with those if i'm like curious or like i feel like something's up i will look it up and try and see but like those gross spurts and like those type of things i don't keep up with that kind of stuff i think four month sleep regression is a thing she's five months and her sleep schedule is like her nighttime sleep schedule is kind of out of whack i feel um she was doing pretty good now she she's been waking up like every four hours i want to say it's been hard like i don't go to sleep till like midnight or 1 a.m she'll usually be asleep around like maybe sometime between like 9 10 or 11 so say she goes to sleep at 11 she usually wakes up around like 2 or 3 a.m and then i put her back to sleep and then she wakes up again like at 6 or 7 a.m so i just feel like i don't get full nights worth of sleep and it's hard especially when Jaden wakes up at like 7 or 8 a.m but i don't know i really don't know plus we're in the middle of like renovating our room slash like redecorating remodeling re i don't know what but we're ex we're just making a lot of changes in our room so it's a mess and i feel like it's really hard to get her on a good sleep schedule when i keep moving her crib around and i keep moving things around so hopefully in like a week or so once we have the room a bit more put together i can work on her like a nighttime routine and get her on a good schedule but for now we've just been going with the flow She's doing great with tummy time, rolling over, all that. She's like a pro. She has a few favorite toys. This is definitely one of them. It's a cute little like caterpillar and it plays music when you stretch it. I kind of didn't want to do that. Okay. She also, <laughs> she also has like her, it's over there. I'm not going to get it, but it's like a cute little turtle. I might've showed you guys before and her current obsession the past few days is missing but it's like a crinkle star she loves that thing um i noticed that we have a lot of toys from the infantino this brand hello yeah this brand right there she has a lot of toys from them she really likes all of them even her play mat is that same brand it's really fun and colorful and it's gender neutral so that's good she's just such a good baby she's so happy and stuff so we are living our best lives here <laughs> um i definitely haven't really <laughs> been suffering too much with the 
social distancing, self-quarantine situation just because I have my kids too to keep me company and very busy very busy but um i think that's it guys i'm gonna go because i can talk for like another 20 minutes and we don't need that so i'm gonna save <laughs> editing daisy some time here and i just want to say thank you guys for watching look let's fix that head i just want to say thank you guys for watching um it means a lot i am back I'm feeling good. It feels really good to just sit with my camera and make some videos for you guys. I really like it. It's like really therapeutic and I feel so accomplished when I get videos posted. So I'm going to get back to it. I'm going to insert a picture right here of Aubrey and her cousin that's four months younger than her. Just because they're so cute. Like how cute are they? I know. Adorable. But yeah, that's it for this video guys. I appreciate you watching it. Um, if you liked it, don't forget to give it a like and if you aren't subscribed please hit that subscribe button because it helps me out i am on the road to 1000 subscribers and when i get there i promise i'll be doing the giveaway <laughs> we'll see you guys in the next video and we hope that you guys are all staying safe bye